Blind spots are something we all have. In this video, I want to introduce you to a really cool tool and theory called Johari's Window. This theory helps you understand yourself better and other people to understand you too. So here's how it works. According to Johari's Window, which you can see a diagram over, over here, you have four areas of knowledge to your consciousness. The first is the open area where things that are known to you and other people reside. So you've got habits, feelings, thoughts, capabilities, things like that. And what you want to do is you want to expand this area as much as possible so you know yourself as well as possible and other people know you as well. The second area is your blind spot. So this is where things aren't known to you, but they're known to others. So, you know, think about things like these might be your weaknesses, your vices, things that kind of annoy people that you might not be aware of. And over time, you want to work to decrease this area by asking for feedback and encouraging people to tell you themselves too. You want to make it easy for people to tell you about your blind spots. Whereas what most people do is they never actively seek it out. They wait for people to tell them in an emotionally heated moment. And then what happens is they defend themselves when they receive it. And so you're discouraging people from telling you about your blind spots. And on top of this, we're encouraged to continuously wear like this social mask of never being affected by things. You know, for example, men who've always been taught by society that emotions are weak, you know, crying is weak. But in reality, people who are thick skinned actually have the biggest blind spots because people don't tell them the truth. The third area is your hidden self. So this is the things that you know, but you keep to yourself and don't share with others. Now, obviously you have some things that you're not going to share everywhere, you know, all over your social media or in the office, but on the whole, a lot of hidden information isn't actually that personal. The action that you want to take here is self-disclosure. And generally speaking, most people have a very large hidden self. And again, this is because of fear of vulnerability, you know, sometimes because of past traumas even that limits the amount they're willing to share. You know, if you think about your Facebook newsfeed or your Twitter newsfeed or Instagram, most people share their sexy profile photos. But who posts a picture on a random Thursday when your hair's all over the place and you're wearing odd socks? The fourth and final area in Johari's window is called the unknown self. Now, these are things that aren't known to you and aren't known to other people. So the kind of things that we're looking at here could be really deep repressed feelings, things from your past, fears, skills that you don't know about, or other people don't know about. And what you can see on the screen here is the transition of how you want these areas to change over time. So what you're seeing is you want to reduce your hidden and blind area and increase your open and free area. And the advantage of this is it allows for people to get to really know who you are. And if you're wondering, you know, how this tool can help you, well, let me give you a few examples in a practical kind of real world saying. So at work, the larger your open area is, the more you're going to know what tasks and projects you can handle and you can't. And now if other people know this, think about the benefits. It's going to help you and it's going to help them because you're going to work more effectively. In your personal life, you know, the more your close loved ones know what emotions you're going through, the doubts, the fears, insecurities you might be experiencing, the better they can kind of adapt and understand you and help you to put things in perspective. Whereas, you know, if you keep it hidden and you try and have that thick skin, nobody's going to really understand why you're behaving the way you are, why you believe the things you do. And those relationships, they start to break down. So few things to think about there. Definitely hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want more stuff like this, training on really powerful ideas, go check out the Hive Library right now. We have all the golden nuggets from leaders around the world on things like this. And the first 30 days are totally free. You can cancel anytime you want. It's a great way for you to learn and also to support the work of Revolution Hive. So it's win-win. Um, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's daily video. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Peace.